so cool yeah cool guys are thanks for being here now let's continue anyway anyway with the your energy and support we have completed our two subsections of our series maths and arrays now we are running with the array with two pointer trust me i can bet on one thing i can guarantee on one thing that the people who will you know follow this series from 0 to 1 means from starting till end they will have real trust me they will have a really very good understanding over dfa and they'll be rocking the coding interview that i can ensure and i don't know why people are not uh, really joining on time every day when i am coming but trust me for this particular concept people charges in lakhs even i was used to giving the training on the same topic the same things i was charging in lakhs and right now it's freely available i wanted to help the people and we are here anyway but those are consistent i highly appreciate them uh cool yeah guys so now now uh i'll i'll continue with the topic today we have problem statement which is remove element which is remove element so basically what is the problem statement we'll see but why this problem is important that look at this problem already has an ask top tech giants in amazon bloomberg google and microsoft and there is a probability because there's something is specific always when these company ask a problem statement they must have a pattern or they must have a understanding to check somebody's problem solving so that's why these problem statement becomes crucial and we'll understand this today we'll understand this today so let's let's read the problem statement first then we will continue okay and till then again i'll come back on the youtube to check like am i audible and visible to all and and everything cool yeah i guess people are consistent here and probably i'm audible and visible so i'll search here lead code and we'll solve it we'll solve it i want energy high jab energy high hogi then we'll rock here anyway so let's toro foro game hai na toro foro game toro foro kisko it's a problem statement itself cool yeah so now we'll search for the problem statement that is remove element and trust me this problem is easy but still yet a lot of things to understand in itself remove element because when i select a problem for this series i really select it based on a pattern based on a lot of things when this is relevant only then we come here this remove element 59.5% acceptance acceptance rate and anyway a uh, very good problem we'll read the problem statement we'll understand we'll try to understand it like, what does it say what does it say so can i have one marker here something probably i, I don't think so that i have okay so given an integer array nums and an integer value so you will have two things one an integer array nums and an integer value well that we understand remove all the occurrence of well in the nums in place in place means that you will not utilize any extra data structure you will change the value in the array itself in the nums itself you will not utilize any other data structure or any other array the order of the elements may be changed means after you know after doing operations the order of element may be changed that is fine for them then return the number of element in nums which are not equal to well you just have to remove the value of well like whatever the value you will get let's see an example also we'll see understand but we'll first finish the problem statement we'll understand like what is the rest remaining so consider the number of elements in nums which are not equal to value be k let's uh, let's assume there will be k element which are not equal to well because we want to delete well anyhow to get accepted you uh, you need to do the following things what are the things number first change the array nums which in place such that the first k element of nums contain the element which are not equal to well which means that you have to add all the value is starting which are not equal to well okay cool yeah the remaining element of nums are not important as well as the size of the nums means the remaining element are not necessary and i remember that we also have solved the similar problems where probably we were uh, you know solving the repeating problems like i guess that was delete re uh, repeating element or something we had applied the same approach there we will apply the same approach here as well okay so what can be the approach i'll show you one example here i'll show you one example here so we have this particular nums 3 2 2 3 and we have one value well okay so what our job is to we have to delete the 3 from here and the rest value will put for at the starting 
this value we will put as starting. So earlier, let's say you want to delete this 3, delete it, but you have to put 2 at this place. So again 2 at this place, so now all the 3 will come on the last place or you will just disappear from the array. You don't care about them. But the starting values that should not have the value of k. Okay, that's what we have to ensure. That's what we have to ensure. Cool, yeah. So, so how we can solve this? Let's understand in a PPT. I'll take this example. I'll take this example. Here, I know yellow color you all, everybody likes. I understand this from past experience. So nums, we have, let's say, 3, 2, 2, 3. Okay, and we have one value, which is 3. So I want to delete this 3, this three from this particular array. So how we can do this? We want to do with the help of what? Get the series array with two pointer. So think about it, how we can do it. And you know when the value is dependent on two pointers, like you can swap something or even delete something, you always go for the two pointer. So here we'll understand how we can apply. Can I say, can I say, I am remembering that we have solved one problem statement, removing element something. So there we were assuming two pointers. Let's say one edge first and second is start. So first and second both will start from the same place. Two and three. What I'll do, I'll try to match. The, the second will help you to iterate this whole array. This whole array. This will be in region of iteration. So I'll, I'll take on the second. Do we have value equals to well? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. If you have, if you have this particular value, what you have to do? You just need to go ahead. You just need to go ahead. If you have three, just go ahead. Just go ahead. So you'll come here. I Means second will come here. So now, if you have value on second, which is not equal to well, put that value on the place of a start. Put that value on the place of a start. So that just you have to update here. So what will happen? Start was pointing out to zero index. On zero index, we will have two, right? And this was also two. And your second was pointing right here. Once you have updated this value of start, your second will move ahead. Which means that your second will move on the another two and three. This is what you have. Now your the first should move ahead with one pointer. Which is here, second will come on the upcoming value. You will see again, is this equal to value? No, this is not equal to value. So then what you have to do? What you have to do? You just have to update this value on the place of first. On the place of first. So you will have again 2 comma 2. Your first will move ahead. It will come right here. It will come right here. And the place of here the first will come here this will be the value of first value of first and again you will have three and second will move on the another pointer that is second which comes here which comes here now what will happen is this three yes this is three then do nothing do nothing which means you don't have to update the value of start you can go ahead and you'll be out of the array you see that the first k value where the first lies actually the value of first right here you will have what the number of value will have here right here the index of this is 2 the index of first is 2 so 2 is the actual number where you have k value which do not have the value of well which do not have the value of well i hope this is clear to all we'll understand with another example as well let's say i have one array which where we have value 1 2 3 and 4 and well is equals to 2 i want to read this so here i will have a start i will have second first second i guess i was i was naming it so i'll name the same thing to not have confusion okay so first and this is second this is second okay so now now what i'm doing here now what i'm doing here we have assumed this is first and second this will be used for iteration then i did it so what will what you'll do look at this on second do you have the value equals to well no you don't have then do one thing, put this value of second in the place of first, which is the same place anyhow. So we'll have on the place of first, we'll have one, that remains same. But we'll increase the value of first and second. So now the first will come here and second will also come here. I have three and four. You'll get the value as two. If you have value as two on second, you, you do nothing. You will not update the value of first. You'll move ahead. So now second comes here. You'll see again this value equals to two. No, this is not. Then what you'll do, you'll update the value of first. So which means that the place of 2 will have 3. So you will have 1, 3, 3, 4. You will update the second and you will update the first also because you have updated the value. So first will come here and second will come here. Look at this. Is this equals to? Is this equals to 2? No, this is not. This is not equals to value. Then what you have to do? You have to update the value of first. 
so which means that you will have one comma three comma four comma four at the end and second will go beyond the array right and which means that you have the first k value which do not have the value of this well so your output will be the first because first will point out right here after this first will come here on the place of this so we'll have three so we'll have three values which do not like this do not contain the value of well and tell me one thing is this problem statement clear to all is the problem statement clear to all please do let me know is the problem statement clear to all is the problem statement clear to all very good evening our uh, prince tell me is the problem statement clear to all do let me know we'll implement the solution then we'll wrap we'll implement the solution is this problem statement clear to all Okay, I'll wait for the response, but till then we'll move ahead. Cool, yeah, cool. So now here, now here, and anyhow, I want engagement, more engagement here, because I also need motivation to continue the series, and that motivation is only your support, your enthusiasm that you want really the series. Only then it's possible to continue in it. Otherwise, anyhow, the whole free work is going on, and if people are not getting benefit, that's why they are not enthusiastic. If you will so interest, maybe we'll we'll wrap with amazing outcomes. Okay, so what we were assuming that we will have one first. I have one first starting from zero index. I will have one second starting from zero index that I can use for iteration also. So I will have a loop int s which equals two, which is starting from zero, and this s is less than the length of the nums nums dot length, and anyhow we'll cover this particular solution in three languages that you understand, right? And again, Java, Python, and C++. Again, S++. Okay. Now, now here, what we will do? What we are doing is that if if the value of nums available on the second is equals to equals to well, we were continuing. We were continuing. We were not doing anything. So continue in this case. Otherwise, otherwise, just update the value of first. So nums at the place of first, we will have the value of second. So nums value of second, and again you have inserted one value. You need to move ahead your first pointer. So f plus plus f plus plus. That what the solution is. I'm coming to back again to read the comments. So watching again because I joined late. Okay, no surprise. Here I know the I'm seeing very less engagement. I don't know why. I don't know why. If really the series is not required, then we can stop probably. And if you're enjoying, then keep supporting it, please. Only then we'll be able to continue it. So now, now here I'll try to run this. I'll try to run this because I have amazing things in this particular series. Uh, what I'm missing actually? I'm not returning anything. Okay, so we'll return the first. That's what we were planning, right? That's what we were planning. So probably correct. It's working fine. It's working fine, and I hope it makes sense. If we get the value, we'll move our second pointer ahead, right? Without doing anything. Otherwise, otherwise we'll put that value second in the place of first. So we'll basically skip all the value which are equal to well. We'll skip all the value which are equal to well, right? And that's how you'll solve this. That's how you will solve this. Let's submit it. Beating hundred percent. Beating hundred percent. And now we'll see the same solution. You will see the same solution in C plus plus. Okay, in C plus plus, and then in Python as well. Yeah. Anyway, I know that in this series we are having a lot of gaps, but there are few challenges, and I want to cover something which can help you to land a good job here. So support yourself, guys, first. Probably we will have amazing outcomes. So you know that C plus will have the same syntax. You just have to change this length method with size because of vector we use size, and resting is completely same for C plus plus as well. We'll submit this. This works for the C plus plus as well, and you understand the logic, right? Beating 100% again for the Python, we'll do the minor changes, and this code will become for the Python as well, right? So this code will become for the Python as well. So here you don't have the semicolons, you don't use data types, and again you do not have this normal loop here. You have to use a normal for in loop. Let's say for as in range, range of what? I'll take the size of your nums list. So I'll write nums here. Colon. You don't have calluses here. 
will have the columns. So now I'll remove this also from here, from here. And you don't have plus plus directly here, you have to write plus one. Okay. And here we'll return this. This is for Python as well. I guess this will work fine. Okay. You have the same logic. Oh no. Okay. I forgot this to remove it. So now we're good to go. We're good to go. Okay. Cool here. So I hope this works for the Python now. And the solution and understanding is clear to all. Do let me know. Is this clear to all? Please do let me know. Is this clear to all? Is this particular thing clear to all? And I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed, I want to see that energy in the comments. Uh, probably any of our management also want to know that this particular thing is being helpful for the people or not. And any of this series will help, I guess, a lot of people to land a good job. But any of this requires your consistency. See you in the next video. I hope this makes sense. And you are not seeing a lot of responses. And dry run is also not required for this problem because probably it's understandable that the value we get the value will skip it. Otherwise, we'll update that starting. So that's how this simple logic we're working on. And what is the time and space complexity for this? So space complexity is constant because you're not utilizing any extra data structure. And time complexity is linear because you have to iterate your whole array. That is linear, big of n. See you in the next live by tomorrow. Till then, bye bye. But try to yeah, gather more people and try to interact. Only then we'll produce maximum outcomes. Bye bye to all.